Okay guys, so the first thing I start out with is grooming. I usually groom my brows once a week by lightly shaping them with a brow razor. But before I do that, I like to brush all the hairs up with a spoolie to see what areas need to be cleaned up. I rarely shape the hairs above my brows unless absolutely necessary because they usually grow in very light. And for anyone who was wondering, no, I do not get them waxed or threaded anymore. I just clean them up myself. After that, I like to prime my brows. I usually use whatever primer is lying around. The one in the video is by Ruby Kisses. And using the primer just helps to keep the product on a lot longer. Next comes filling them in. I've really been loving to use MAC's spiked pencil because it's not too dark or too light and it's easy to get clean hair like lines. So first as you can see I'm creating my baseline at the bottom of my brow working my way from the front to the tail. Then using a spoolie again, I'm brushing the hairs up to see if there are any areas that need more product. After that, I move on to the top of my brows and as you can see, I'm using the very front of my brow as a guide for my brow side. Once I have a basic shape, I use short quick strokes to fill in the gaps and spaces in between my brow hairs. I primarily focus the product on the tail of the brow because this is where I have the least amount of hair. Then with the spoolie, I brush all of my brow hairs upwards to blend in and cover some of the penciled areas. I love to see hairs throughout the brow to make it look more realistic. So this is my little trick. I really do like to use this way because it gives more of a naturally full appearance to the brow. I'm going in with a little Studio Finish Concealer by MAC and a 266 brush also by MAC to lightly clean up the shape. I really like this brush because it's very thin and precise so it gives me a nice clean crisp line. And I like to use a concealer that is my shade or one shade lighter. You seriously only need the tiniest bit of this concealer because it's so concentrated. Sometimes I may get concealer in areas I don't need it, so I just simply use the pencil to reshade and define that area. I never use concealer on the top of my brows because those lines usually come out pretty nice and crisp, and plus I really just don't like the look of the halo brow. Next I apply concealer to my entire brow bone area and blend out and down. 9 times out of 10 when I wear eye makeup I won't use an eyeshadow to highlight the brow bone but instead leave the concealer as my highlight. To give the hairs a little more shape and definition, I brush through them with a clear brow gel. I use any brand I have lying around. This one is a random brand from my local beauty supply store. Then 
Then my final and most important step is sealing my brows. Since I have no hair on the tail of my brow, that's usually the first part to wear off a few hours into the day. I love to use the e.l.f. lock and seal to keep my brows on all day. It dries clear and your brow product will not budge. I've, I've worked 8 hour days and by the end of the day my brows are still on whereas before they used to wear away within 3 hours. So I really swear by this stuff and the best part is that it's only 3 bucks. And this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed my updated brow routine. All the products used will be listed below and on my blog. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.